What is going on? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I want to talk about SoFi and their Q2 earnings, which is set for August the 2nd. I'm going to go over everything that you need to know, what investors should and should not even care about, and some estimates where things might be going. Before I get into any of that, making sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I greatly appreciate that. With that though, let's get right to it. So just beginner friendly, just want to start off by saying if you do not know anything about upcoming earnings, there are several different things that investors should care about and and ultimately that is earnings per share, revenue, and future guidance. Under the umbrella of future guidance, it could talk about a wide a range of things. Um, so this is where a little bit more uh, Russian roulette, if you wanna call it that. But generally speaking, looking at previous earnings, SoFi has done fairly well on both earnings per share and revenue, as it should, because obviously it's in the, the right sector, especially with rising interest rates, and given all the circumstances of it being a basically a FinTech, which is very low cost in general once you do take out the acquisitions and whatnot but generally speaking on their Q1, the expectation was negative 13 cents, reported was negative 11, so a positive surprise there. And then revenue, 283 million, that was the expected, 321 is the reported. I'm just gonna quickly pop over to Interactive Brokers because I do have a lot of information on here. Um, so surprisingly enough, it's always a very positive sign when an analyst comes back in and re-rates the underlying asset, so SoFi. So in SoFi's case, there was an analyst that actually she did come back in and gave another estimate, a positive estimate. So currently there is 10 analysts rating SoFi and the average estimate for earnings per share is exactly the same thing as Q1, so negative 13 cents. Um, generally speaking, we have always exceeded that. Um, like I said, because of our low cost, there's not really anything that happened in Q2 that would really put us over the edge. So I do anticipate the earnings per share being significantly higher. And then when it comes down to revenue, so revenue is a little bit more of a different beast but same kind of criteria so far has always exceeded the analyst and ratings so when it comes down to revenue there's only been five ratings from analysts on that with a consensus of it being roughly 346.48 million so again it's one of those things it is a little bit higher uh, significantly higher than obviously q1 but still generally speaking we are doing fairly well and the reasoning for that is i'm just going to quickly go back here and so the reasoning for that is because of raising interest rates so technically within q2 it encompasses all of April, May, and June. So keep in mind, we went into Q2 earnings at around 50 basis points. So we've gone up 1.25% overall for uh, interest rates. Generally speaking, SoFi has not actually increased it significantly uh, given the circumstances. In the March 16th Fed meeting when they did initially raise their rates, obviously that is part of Q1, SoFi did raise their rates and that's more so to entice customers to come in, but generally speaking that gap what they actually pay customers versus what they actually charge that is pure profit so we've gone up quite a lot and with it being a chartered bank again it's more beneficial for higher interest rates yet they aren't really rolling that over to customers so that's where SoFi is going to make a lot of money so when it comes down to it I do anticipate revenue being significantly higher than even what the forecast is despite the student loan memorandum and all that fun jazz that a lot of people love to talk about Generally speaking, the revenue should be significantly higher. And like I said, March, they did raise the rates for customers. So making it a little bit more beneficial and enticing customers to come over. So hopefully our customer count will come up. And this is going to be what's encompassed in the future, kind of the forecast and things like that, the future expectations. But when it comes down to it, you can always look at the web traffic as a good projection of possibly how much uh, customer basis has gone up or kind of the actual number of products. Because over and above that, just generally speaking, interest rates making a little bit more beneficial for customers to switch over to SoFi versus the traditional bank. They do offer a lot more services. So that's a very good thing, especially when it comes down to the investing component. Obviously, I might be a little bit more biased in that regard because obviously uh, I'm an investor. But still, hands down, if you look at the actual web traffic for SoFi, it's gone up roughly about 45% month over month. So that's a very big deal. So right here is what is going to be encompassed in technically Q2. 
So at the end of the day, I personally feel earnings per share is going to be significantly higher as will revenue. And then when it comes down to future guidance, this is where, like I said, it's a little bit more Russian roulette. They can talk on anything uh, that they see fit. And then when it comes down to future guidance, they are going to, like I said, talk about the customer basis, which should increase along with many, many other things. And one thing I really do like about SoFi that stands out because I've looked at a lot of and participated in in a lot of earnings on a wide range of different sectors, but SoFi. SoFi has so many analysts that were just constantly asking so many questions, and that is actually a crazy, very positive thing. Uh, that's how I see that, and I just wanna quickly show you this. Generally speaking, for a starting up company such as SoFi, you shouldn't get this amount of actual uh, ratings and things like that from analysts, but everyone seems to really love SoFi. Everyone wants to know how are they making so much money? They wanna try and translate that into a very positive way, but keep in mind though, when analysts start to give seven or $6 price targets, this is where a little bit more manipulation comes into fact. And I did do a video on that, and even on their recent shareholder meeting, Anthony Noto said in a, a nice way, obviously that there is manipulation, but the saying that the market is very irrational. So take that how you see that. Keep in mind though, I am not a financial advisor, so do your own due diligence at the end of the day but given the circumstances post q2 earnings i see a lot more analysts giving ratings i can see also during the conference call a million and one analysts asking additional questions potentially as well around the tail end of what their future expectation is their guidance things that they want to hear what is coming for the remainder of 2022 because there still is a huge pandora's box unlocking that is going to happen um so let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below but generally speaking, I feel that this earnings is going to be very successful. Um, but let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. Do you think that they're going to miss on some regard, maybe revenue? Do you think the student debt is going to be a very big deal? Because also keep in mind, during the shareholder meeting, he did reiterate saying that it's only the federal debt that is being extended, not anything else. No other attribute of that is only just the federal debt. So it's not necessarily as big as what a lot of people are under the assumption. And like I said on previous videos, the estimates are that they're only losing 35 million per quarter, potentially on not having that student debt. So it's still at the end of the day, it is a lot, but it's not, it's, it is what it is, right? So if I setting itself up for a very perfect position going forward especially with raising interest rates so the next fed meeting is on the 27th so it is going to come right before the q2 earnings so if that does happen then hopefully sofi will continue to make more and more revenue because like i said higher interest rates equates to more revenue but with all that don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe i greatly appreciate that and with all that i appreciate you guys watching and let's all make a lot of money on sofi